Hi, my name is Ami Megani. I work for Progression Technologies. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to display cosmetic threads on the drawing of an assembly file. Now, you should know that cosmetic threads appear automatically in a part file, but if you're adding a whole wizard feature on an assembly, you will have to import the cosmetic thread. So I'm going to talk to you about how to do that. So here's a drawing of an assembly. Oops. I'm going to open that assembly and the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I turn on uh, shaded cosmetic threads. I want those to be visible in this assembly. So I'm going to right click on annotations and go to details and select shaded cosmetic threads. Now if you don't want to do this step every time, you'll have to change this on your template. So that part is already done for you. Okay, now I'm just going to insert a whole wizard feature. I'm um, just going to choose something threaded and then position it. I'm just going to position it somewhere here so you can see it. Okay, so now I have an assembly feature. Um, and the shaded cosmetic threads didn't show up. Now this is a little bit of a bug, which has already been reported to SolidWorks. But you have to hit Control Q to make sure you see it on the assembly file. So if you're not seeing it after you've turned it on in the annotations folder, then try Control Q and see if that cosmetic thread shows up. So you have to see it in the assembly file before you can move on to the drawing file and make sure it's visible there. Okay, so let's toggle over to the drawing and zoom in and you can't see it and this is because you have to import those. Okay, now here in this uh, file, let's go to the annotations folder and go to details and make sure shaded cosmetic threads are on again. Now this is for a drawing file, so again you'll have to turn that on on your drawing templates if you don't want to do this step every time. Okay, so now I've turned that on and now we can import. You go to insert model items and then you can just choose the assembly and just make sure you have the cosmetic thread button selected and click OK. And now you see that it appears with a little bit of a call out. Okay, if that's not what you want to see, maybe you want to see something shaded you can choose the shaded view and you'll see that cosmetic thread is there. The program does understand that it's there. Okay? I'm Ami Megani. Thank you for watching.